What is up, my friends? Jesse with Just Man Sports Cards. We're going to do my top eBay sales for the last 90 days, which is essentially 2024. Uh, we'll just start at the top. I sorted it. Um, you can it says, hey, Jesse, some cards I bought today. Um, I guess I can show what I bought today. I bought a Tim Duncan Skybox Thunder. Got that for 15 bucks. These are the same seller, so... Shaq Jam City, that's a full card and a Jokic numbered card. So some combined shipping. Big sale for me um, was the 1994. This is a pop four. Um, I originally had it listed for 2,500. I probably had this card for three years. I graded myself. I've graded probably 20 of these cards and only gotten one PSA 10. About every three to four months, I just drop it by 10%. Um, and once it got to about fifteen hundred, I, I started to lower like just a hundred bucks every like three to four months because I felt like it was still a big card. Uh, so that's something I graded myself. Bonds, um, Thunderclap. I always think it looks like the uh, Scoring Kings from '93. So I bought up some high grades of these. One Bonds. I'm not a huge Bonds fan, but there is Bond Collector, and I am in the Bay Area. So there's always kind of that outlet too, um, but this is pretty good. I think I paid about a hundred dollars for this, and it went for three hundred nine. It's like a pop one or pop two. It's really hard to get high grades on these, so I just slipped through an auction um, where I picked it up for a good price. Alonzo, um, these moved fairly quickly. If you're willing to go below three hundred, uh, I graded this myself. I've talked about this card on the channel before. It's with the lowest pop 10 in the 94 and 10 set. So there are collectors trying to put that set together. So um, I don't know when that will hit a point where it comes down. Like the Shaq sells for almost half of, it, half of this, but it's graded like four times as much. Um, Breeze, I graded this. Um, I didn't have it listed for the longest time, and then I listed it. And... It went fairly quick within six months. I mean, it's quick for me. Graded like six of these. I got four or five tens. I did really well on them. Um, and then I just kind of been, I'll sell one and then wait a couple weeks, sell one, uh, 264. So this is something I did pretty well on. The Jordan um, High Risers 8. Um. Yeah, these are just, they crept it up so much in price from when I was originally picking them up and grading them that I think I I went ahead and let this one go. Uh, good price there, 255 I'm not actually selling any eights or higher anymore. It's it's turned into a long-term hold as I've done more research on the card. Keem, another one, 259 I sold the other one for 264 so a difference of $5. Uh, this is the members-only version. Um, so it says the members-only on the back. That's really clean copy there. Uh, that could possibly be a regrade. Um, there's a little white there. Yeah, see that? So that's how well I know the cards. I can, I kind of know where the imperfections are, but the edges are fantastic. It's just got that right there on the embossing. So probably appropriately graded. 228, that's about what those do. It's hard to get much more than those. I have one listed right now for like 238. Bunch of watchers, just no one's hit the bin yet. Glenn Robinson, I think this should go closer to what the Alonzo does, but um, it just doesn't. This is also his, it's a rookie card for him. So this is kind of like just knowing the set and, and but the thing is like, I might buy 10 raw of these and then just grade two. So there is a grind to it, but I, I graded that myself. Um, Anthony Hardaway, members only. These are rare. The nine's hard to get. I bought this for like 125, 150, something like that. So after buyer's premium and stuff, I, I probably made 
40 bucks on it. Not a great flip, but not a bad flip. Uh, this one just sold recently, May 7th. Yeah, so two days ago. Emmett. Um, I started off, I think, at like 225 when I first listed this. And then I've just been, I don't know, moving it down $5 every 30 days or so. So that was a good sale. Uh, appreciate the support if you are buying from me. Some shacks, this showed up, but it's, it's a combined order. Um, the Meltdown, I think I sold this for like $150. Uh, I won't go into the details. Maddox, I had four copies of this after my last return. Um, so it, I just thought it was time to let one go. That's fair market value there. This is the first year for uh, baseball, 98, 97, and I think it's the first year for football. And then basketball, I think it's 90, uh, I'm not for sure. It's 97 or 98. So 158, that was good. Uh, another shack. Um, I just, I had, I forget, I had like five eights. So I think, I thought it was time to kind of piece some out to the market. I have two nines too. I uh, did pretty well on this Rain Man Jordan for a PSA 8. Uh, same seller here. Appreciate it. It's probably essential credentials. Someone buying up some copies of that. Larry Walker. Uh, so this is a combined order shipping. I think these were both around 70 bucks. So it's partially refunded. I always uh, give a shipping refund, like combined shipping. Troll Davis. I thought this would go for more, but um, just didn't. So these are one in 288 packs. I mean, I could have probably held on to it for longer, but um, happy with it. The price. Uh, there's some of these that I have that I'm holding on to. I have two eights of the Jordan PSA uh, Power in the Key. So sevens uh, for a long time were really low. This is a card I graded myself. I've probably held on to this card for three to four years. I uh, bought it raw and... I just, I didn't want to lose, I hate losing money on a Jordan. So I just held it and eventually this is a price where I maybe made eight or 10 bucks, but um, digs. Uh, this sold, I had a, this was a flip from PWCC. I forget, I paid like 80 bucks for it. Um, I could pull up my tracking sheet, but I'm not going to go into all those details. So when he got traded, I actually sold uh, almost everything that I had of his. Like I only had like five cards. I think I've I've won. Um, this is the color match, so cool card. I have the nine still up on PSA, or not PSA, my bad, on eBay. But I sold the ten, and I sold like two or three of his rookie autos. Chris Jones, his stuff is creeping up there after he re-signed uh, his big deal. So it looks like I forget he's going to be with the Chiefs for another three or four years. Um, I saw some movement in his prices when that contract went through. Um, so sometimes, like when you sell a card, it's like why did it sell? Like it's something in the news a lot of times, but other times it's just a collector collecting the card. Um, I have a PSA nine of this. That's why I let the eight go. Chiefs fan, Chiefs collector, Jordan. Um, I bought, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I bought this graded and I just had held on to it. And I think I had like three copies. So I let one go. Uh, Cleo Mac. Out um, of 99. That was a good sale. 125. This got snapped up, man, like three days within me listing it. So it must have been someone like, collects Khalil Mack and they just didn't have it and they didn't want to miss out on it. Probably does it's out of 99. I don't know how often it gets graded. Uh, watch the channel enough. Maybe you can remember. I picked this up at the Sacramento card show. I paid, I forget. I paid up for this. It was 30 or 35 raw. It was in a one touch, which I always, I kind of like the one touch is better for cards over 30 bucks. Cause then I can easily, crack the the front and look at the surface on the front at least it's i don't like the 
tilt the card and look at the back. I try to respect like not handling the card too much. Um, his stuff is dipped, but I kind I just wanted to kind of let this go at market or slightly under market at the time. I don't know where his cards have gone since. I just felt like more of these were going to get graded. So I, I, I was happy to woods. I've had this card for like three to four years. Um, I've noticed uh, his stuff in the red shirt has getting picked up more. Uh, whatever trend that is, it makes sense. It's like classic Tiger. I watched him growing up as a kid, and it was the Sunday red. And uh, you just knew he was going to turn it on and, and step on some people's necks. And uh, he, he was a uh, cold blood killer come Sunday. Um, so that was a good sale. I, I'd moved that down probably. 50 bucks in the last year and it finally maybe more um i've just held on to the wood stuff for three or four years i'm kind of moving it down until it hits a sweet spot where it seems like it's selling um and then same seller probably putting a set together here uh partially refunded on both probably gave them a shipping refund the perforated nine uh, this is like the Least graded card in the set. It came in a big promo card. <clears throat> um, and if you've, I've shown how I, I graded those in the past, and then the Glenn Robinson. And that's what I have for everyone. If you made it this far in the video, please like. That helps the YouTube a logarithm and helps me out. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, I'd also appreciate that. Hope everyone is doing well, and I am being on vacation. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know when I'll release this. I'm going to release it on Sunday, uh, but definitely stoked about uh, the NBA playoffs and my team, which is the Nuggets, uh, watching them play, and hopefully they can make a comeback here.